We are indeed down here at the corner right across from the white spot, real close to the railroad bridge uh, that you all have passed underneath several hundred times. And uh, Morgan Estabrook is here from UVA Innovation. Morgan, what's, what's UVA Innovation all about? Hey, Nathan. Well, thanks so much oh, for having us. Let's uh, turn up my clue there. Let's try that one account again. <laughs> Morgan, what's UVA Innovation all about? Hey, Nathan. Thanks so much for having us. Um, I'm from UVA Innovation. It's a university-wide initiative, and we are striving to maximize the impact of university research discoveries. And what that means is we work with university faculty, staff, and students who, in the course of their research, come up with a cool discovery. Maybe it's a new drug candidate or a develop a new material, all sorts of cool stuff. We've got architectural designs going on in here. Um, and we work with them to find a company who's willing to invest in that technology and bring it to a point where it can actually be accessed by the public as a commercial product or a drug in a hospital, et cetera. Mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're at Open Grounds, which is not the same as UVA Innovation, yeah, but yeah. a lot of the innovators do work here, hang out here, give presentations here. What's the, the relationship <laughs> between UVA Innovation and Open Grounds here on the corner? Yeah, so we're both pretty new initiatives, both dealing a lot with innovation, uh, both out of the office of the Vice President for Research. Open Grounds, we're, we're outside their very cool corner studio today. It's just a really cool space that's built to foster collaboration between faculty, students, and staff, as well as the community, as well as companies. They've got a lot of things going on with museums. Um, so it's just a really cool space, and we encourage people to drop on by. So we're doing an open house today until 6, um, and you can find out a lot more about Open Grounds at opengrounds.virginia.edu. Perfect, perfect. And it is a, a very cool space with these, like, 30-foot-high ceilings and uh, one of the most amazing AV setups I've seen in town. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and today they're doing a brainstorming session, actually inviting the public to come in and say what they'd like to see from this space immediately outside the building. So people are drawn on the walls and tracing things on paper, and it's it's a cool thing. So sort of like reimagining this little plaza intersection here next exactly. to the, the Exactly, and archway. like the old school gates to the university. So. Yeah. So if you've got ideas on what this space should look like here at the uh, bottom of the corner near the railroad bridge, come on down and uh, draw on the walls too, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. What, what innovation, you know, so you work at UVA Innovations. What, what are some of the innovations you found most fascinating or, or interesting in the last year or so? Yeah, well, you guys are interviewing a few of the innovators this afternoon, and so sure. we're really excited to hear from them. So I'll give you a little bit of a promo, but Anselmo Canfora is going to come up next, and he's with Initiative Recover out of the architecture school. This is one of my favorites. Cool thing to talk about. They're, he was inspired by some of the natural disasters that he's seen where they've been lacking in sort of disaster relief housing, and so he's been using his architectural studio to come up with cool, flat-packed architectural designs, housing, um, that people can, they're flat-packed, it's easy to ship to people in other countries or wherever the help is needed, and people who are not skilled in carpentry and architecture can build these really easily, and they can serve as semi-permanent shelters. Sure, so. sure. And we'll talk with him in about a half hour here on uh, yeah. WTJU. That's excellent. That's excellent. Yeah. Uh, so uh, last last question is uh, we're here at Open Grounds and, and I notice all the tables are, are like poured concrete and very swoopy and, and you know obtuse <laughs> parallelograms and, and there's no square tables. Is that to foster creativity or is that just to be cool? <laughs> well, I, I don't think it's just to be cool, but it is pretty cool. You know, Bill Sherman is heading up the Open Grounds initiative and he's out of the architecture school. And so I think probably a lot of thought went into exactly how this is all configured. It's a cool space. Um, and all of the tables detach from the walls, and you can really assemble it however you need to to have whatever collaboration or event that you want to have going on in there. So. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Thanks so much, Morgan Esterbrook here on WTJU. We are down at the corner at the uh, Tom Toberfest uh, open house at Open Grounds, uh, just across the road from the Ellywood Avenue block party, all part of the big Tom Toberfest with uh, Paul Beyer et al. Uh, so come on down, say hi to us down here at WTJU, and I'm going to throw it back to Liz for a little more music.